What up? I'm Kenji. I'm a kaiju. Unlike James Brown, I don't dig scrapping. Most kaiju like to start some shit with humans. Some kaiju think humans are worth protecting from other kaiju. Me? I don't give a shit. Why would I want to protect a bunch of humans who invade each other's personal space all the time, like when they hug or shake hands or give each other air kisses and because of that they contract some virus named after Vin Diesel's favorite beer and yet they still want to go outside and hang out at the beach and shake each other's hands even though that's how the cooties got spread. These humans ain't worth it, Zogdilla. Stop trying to defend their honor and being chivalric and shit, Zogdilla. This ain't one of those King Arthur movies that always take at the box office. I kid, Zogdilla, I kid. Yeah, Zogdilla's an occasional drinking buddy of mine, but he's also a total attention whore. Instead of causing a scene or getting into monster fights, I'd rather curl up in a volcano and read a good book. Some good books ain't of the old-fashioned kind. There's some good writing to be found in ebooks too. Like this new ebook called, If You Haven't Seen It, It's New to You. The movies and TV shows some of us regretted not catching until later. It's written by J. John Aquino, some blogger who's doing a series of essays about movies and TV shows he kept putting off watching for years until he finally said, Ah, screw it, I'll just watch it now. It's not like I have anything better to do. He was also becoming interested in the rise of fine dining at movie theaters, so he decided to combine the essays with the cooking and fine dining stuff in this one ebook. If you haven't seen it, it's new to you, is $9.99 on Kindle. It's got essays about things like Near Dark, Hellboy, the TV series Shit's Creek, and Blue Thunder, a classic 80s movie about an evil helicopter. Oh man, Zogdilla just adores helicopters. Whenever those choppers buzz around in his face, Zogdilla just can't help slapping them away. It's hilarious, I tell ya. If you haven't seen it, it's new to you. Alright, enough with the advertising shit. You might be wondering how I'm able to read books when I'm a big kaiju and I can't hold those small things with my claws. Well, I tricked some college intern into reading aloud these books to me by telling him he'll get virtual college credit if he does it. He totally fell for it. And now, I'm making him read aloud to me all 730 pages of James Joyce's Ulysses. But what he doesn't know is that I'm pretending to listen to him read Ulysses, and I'm actually listening instead to the Desus and Merrill podcast in a well-hidden earbud while he's reading aloud Ulysses. He fell for that too. You're so gullible, muck, Gen Z. If you haven't seen it, it's new to you. The non-fiction debut of Asian American blogger J. John Aquino. Nine ninety-nine on Kindle. Hey, Rover. Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to do a lighting test here. Okay, that shut him up.